let's, uh, let's start off with the Star Trek stuff. Because they put out a bunch of Star Trek stuff yesterday. Uh, like trailers and first looks and things like that. Uh, we can do no, we won't do that. We won't do that. Let's do uh, oh, okay. So, they put out the section 31 movie of the week, which again, I can't believe they filmed it. And look, Curtis may be out, but they, they're getting ready to shoot Starfleet Academy. I, I just don't get it, right? Uh, uh, so this is like looks like it's in the can, is gonna happen. Uh, and I don't know, I'm very down on it, it's, it's not really for me. An emperor can only be loyal to duty. Well, that's not what's her name. Um, what's her bloody name? The woman who's starring in it. Juju. Thus does the empire remain strong. Thus does it grow. But this looks more like Mad Max, to be honest with you. Mad Max or Farscape or, you know, some other cheap sci-fi from the 90s. Oh, hell, the Emperor! Philippa Giorgio. Yeah, it, it, it's the... Uh, you need that Star Trek logo in there to be able to identify this as anything to do with Star Trek. You're a tyrant. Michelle Yo, that's who it is. Who murdered her own people by the millions. The past always catches up with you. <laughs> you are section 31. 31. 31. Oh, so it's like a mis it's like a suicide squad. Misfit group who do covert shit in the Star Trek universe, although not really. Okay, ladies, now let's get information. I mean, are you amazed that they actually, actually made this? You want is a black ops division. Spy work. Starfleet is here to make sure no one commits murder. What a cute idea. Prove to me you got some coordination. It's going to be bumpy and bad. You're a bad bitch. We can't trust you with our lives, but here we go. Somebody, you know, I was having this conversation with this uh, uh, kid outside a synagogue on the uh, on, on on Sabbath, twenty twenty five. You know, he's not that, that young, right? Um, and I was saying, look, the, uh, the that we get trapped into reboots and reusing, uh, our, you know, uh, existing franchises is killing uh is absolutely killing uh both the franchises and cr uh creativity and, and I, I explained to him look think like indiana jones was a reboot right was a uh, um yeah well, essentially a reboot of doc savage like ev everything has been done before flash gordon became with well, a bunch of other stuff uh, uh star wars right yeah, you've got to take the things you love from the past and make your own stuff, right? And if they made their own stuff, this might have been quite good, right? But I don't know. It just um, doesn't feel much like Star Trek. It doesn't feel much like I'm going to want to watch it. I'll give it a go, right? I'll give it a go to review it. Uh, it might be absolutely awful. It, it probably is on the strength of everything else. He's got to keep it lively, right? Let's get information. Yeah, that, that, that looks like it's going to be shit. <laughs> okay, it just does. You know, I was saying the same thing about Doctor Who. Like, should I? Like, okay, I had this internal conversation with myself. I, thought, I was very down on everything. I was very down on all this, um, all the Doctor Who stuff they, they released. And I said, oh, maybe I should look at it with a, uh, you know, with a less gorgeous eye and be. Yeah, be more open-minded to it being good, being you know, being being better. And then I thought to myself, no, right? Because literally everything they've done has been awful, right? Everything they, they, they've done has been awful. Uh, now here's something that's a really, I, I think it's going to be bad, but for me, it's a real cu curiosity. It's the uh, the show real. It's the preview for Stranger Worlds. Now, Stranger Worlds at season one. 
I adored, right? I didn't care that, you know, Transformers League Chief Kyle was now a thin Asian guy, right? Or Robert April was black. I, for me, this was like someone's reimagining of the original Star Wars, uh, Star Trek, and I love the aesthetic they're going for. And it, generally speaking, the stories I felt were, they felt Star trek -y. They felt that good episodic TV Star Trek that we hadn't had for so long, right? Uh, and I, I, yeah, even the episodes are a bit sort of stupid, whereas like the pirate ship one, uh, uh, I like that it was like episodic, right? Uh, um, of course, I'm gonna get. Uh, what was it Rebecca Gold's over there? Ian said, "Of course, you're gonna give it a go. You gave Doctor Who a chance, right? Uh, how did that work out? Badly, badly, very, very badly." Right, let's begin. It, it was it was garbage, right? That's what I was just saying, right? That's exactly what I was just saying. I was going to be like, you know, try and be like a bit more open minded, a bit more optimistic about it. But then, you know, they they show, you know, we watched the clip of uh, from the Christmas episode, which I found fine, apart from shooting out was mucking, you know, face on screen. Anyway, uh, 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 Stranger Worlds. I really liked that first season. I, I genuinely enjoyed it. Second season was unwatchable cack. Right, uh, it just was as unwatchable. It was like uh, they got rid of the, uh, the the engineer, the male engineer, replaced it with Carol Kane, and every episode it had a bunch of women like cackling away in ten forward. It was just shit. So um, I guess it's going to be more of the same for season three. Let's have a look at their. Uh, uh, where is it? Oh, was it not over here? <sighs> Thought I had that one downloaded already here. Now I've got to find it. We'll go Comic Con 2024 Star Trek. Right. Should I do Stranger Worlds? Let's, let's try Star Trek. Let's see if that comes up with it. Uh, Stranger Worlds cast. No, 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 I'm not having a 40 minute. Uh, uh, was it like a 40 minute panel news? Okay, first look. This is it. Here we go. Yeah, that's fine. But you know, you know, we 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 will persevere. I mean, the thumbnail looks nice. <laughs> you know, I get rid of Christina Chong. She's one. I think she's a character that's really not working. I replace place her and the Helmswoman, the Helmsman, the Helmswoman. I've got with with men, right? And then it might be actually quite good. Uh, fine. Strangely, well, let's see where they go with with the, with the third season. Let's see what's what's out there. I was able to jury rig the Kirkovian serum that turned. Okay, I hate it already. Hate it already. Uh, but, oh yeah, and the doctor who's that's a great actor. I've seen him in a few things now. He is a great actor. That guy. He was in uh, Dune as the person that poor traders has to fight. The friend that poor traders has to fight and kill. But look, look, it's got too many chicks, right? Carol Kane, as the um, engineer, is stupid. Christina Chong, as the um, transporter, she, as the uh, security, I, I just found annoying, right? And then, yeah, they took Dr. Mabenga, all right? Is that his name, Dr. Mabenga? And I get that. I have not taken piss out of that. I don't know. And they really you know, screwed up his character. I like Nurse Chapel in the first season. Right, and then uh, again, I just didn't like. They, they became like action heroes, and I, it, it was shit. Right, so let's see, let's see what they're doing over here. Humans Spock back into a Vulcan should be able to do the same for us, only in reverse. The sensory change is brief. The feeling is instantaneous. I will guide you through the sensation. Is that Uhura? Blimey, she's got a new haircut. Until you are acclimated, which should not take long. Physical adjustments follow soon after. I would suggest a deep breath. By the time you reach three, it should be over. One, two, three. So they're all becoming Vulcan? Oh, 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 You don't feel anything? No. And to be honest, I'm a little jealous. That looks like fun. 
This is such a good show in the first season. Ah, oh, I'm so bummed. And oh, the other great, the, the other terrible thing about this, they 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 have Spock played as uh, uh, Sheldon Cooper, right? He is autistic Spock. This feeling is unusual. My perception has increased. Everything I once found dull now seems to be fascinating. Poop. I wonder if the serum did not work on you because you're lanthanite. Honestly, I had the same problem with LSD in the 1960s and the 1990s. Oh, I wish I had LSD right now. Okay, okay we got to zoom forward. I can't. I can't do any more of this. Is there anything else? Okay, so now they've got to pretend to be Vulcans or something. Indeed, it is. Oh, I wish this wasn't so shit. That's Carol Kane. She's the old bag. It's her sort of ranges. Who's the old bag? Uh, that's Carol Kane. She's the uh, new inter. She's the new engineer. Uh, after they got rid of the awesome like guy with the uh, Andorian sort of thing guy. Come on, come on. Fuck off. Leave me alone. Wow. Oh, that's Mr. Yeah. Scott. He's now um, transport chief, I guess. Ears are so pointy. Number one, four and one half Vulcans to beam down. Energize. <laughs> okay, that was a good line. I, I, I let that was a good line. Let's see that again. Four and one half Vulcan. And again, the. Uh, Spots yeah, so uh, 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 response was good, right? That really Number worked. one. Four and one half Vulcans to beam down. Energize. <laughs> Status report. Mitchell, they've entered the structure. Oh, look, there's a bunch of women on the bridge. Fuck, like, stop with all this. God, I mean, like, no men. That was fast. All areas inside the structure are secured. Well, this will likely take a few hours. There's a very complex... Radiation normal. What? Already? Enterprise. The energy system is now repaired. All atomic levels are nominal. The energy source is functioning perfectly. You sound upset. Well, yeah. They're making me look bad. We have completed the mission. You may return us to Enterprise. Hmm. Thought this would be a bit more exciting. But whatever. Hello, shore leave. There's going to be some kind of uh, twist coming. What was the twist at the end? I haven't even broken into a sweat. Well, come back. I believe we will still be able to reach Permanti 3 within expected travel parameters. I'm almost disappointed not to be able to take further advantage of my temporary broken abilities. Agreed. My communication style has never been so efficient. How was the mission for you, Mr. Spock? Ironic. As I was constantly reminded that I was logically the least Vulcan member present. Don't worry. That's about to change. Any second now. Like, like, oh, and now uh, they get stuck as Vulcans. Okay, fine. Now we got it. Like an episode of Red Dwarf. Hmm. There's chapel. What was that sub vocalization? What do you see? For reasons unknown. The Kharkovian serum does not appear to be working. It appears that we will remain Vulcans indefinitely. Uh, not interested. <laughs> not interested in any way, shape, or form. Anyway, is that supposed to be Chekhov accent? No, I don't think so. I don't. I don't, I don't think so. Why doesn't the engineer sound like he's? Uh, she's uh, uh, retarded. Uh, it's the character they're going with. Really, I'm, I don't know that. Liam Nelson's genius here. They will find you. 
and I will kill you. Uh, uh, now I just lost your, your your comment. The casting series was the last Star Trek I watched. Uh, being 58, I grew up with uh, much better storytelling, and the modern stuff is just a waste of time. To it. It, it is right. It absolutely is right. Um, fine. Let me see. Let me see if I got into this anything about the Star Trek Doctor Who through there because uh, I got a couple of uh, video things. But it's so underwhelming. Oh my god, it's so underwhelming. Um, what's this teaser? Okay, let's see what this is. It's some Doctor Who thing on the official Star Trek YouTube channel. Let's see what it is, right? I mean, that makes a pretty good segue. There's a lot of things you need to get across this universe. Walk, drive, work on the practice. Most of all, you need a hand to hold. See, I mean, look at this. They are just so not going for current day Doctor Who, right? They know it's shit too. They know nobody else wants it. It's, it's, look at this. This is from 2005, isn't it? 2006? Yeah, 2006. This looks like, uh, does he even have his costume yet? I don't know. <laughs> We're 18 years old. I'm seeking friendship. That's what the Starship is all about. I'm a lord of time. I'm a lost and fallen. Oh, yeah. Now, 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 now they've uh, fallen off the cliff, right? I don't know. But if you're a Star Trek fan, you're watching this, you, you don't get... Like, he, look at this. Shooty actually sounds like he has some, some gravitas over here. You don't realise he's just constantly trying to get his leg over. I'm a lord of time. I'm a lost and fallen planet of Gallifrey. And we have work to do. Rose Tyler, you're a genius! Captain. Captain. There are so many reasons. Again, best Star Trek in years. To join Starfleet, we get to reach for the stars. <laughs> Take us out. Aye, aye, Captain. But most important, we get to reach for each other. Oh, God. You mean we get to have a reach round? No, she's going to eat you. It's Tilly. She's going to eat you. Wherever you go, we go. It looks even better through your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I think we make a pretty good team. My friends have always been the best of me. Well, so help me, I'm actually pleased to see you. How long are you going to stay with me? Forever. Yeah, it, this is like... They put all this good stuff on the screen. They go, oh, whoa! And then they just put the, the little bit of shit in there so you don't really notice it. But just to legitimize it. Let's make sure that history never forgets the name Enterprise. Hello, old friend. You'll be all right. I, I don't think that I'm a hugging person now. Uh, it's pew, pew, pew button. I don't see it. Everybody, said, everybody said this is quite good. Pew, pew, pew button. Just hit them all. Okay, this whole thing has gone far enough. <laughs> <laughs> Is this like the intro to the, the panel they did? There are 400 billion stars in our galaxy. Doctor? We've only explored a tiny fraction. You have a lot of work to do. Oh, I'm the best time! <laughs> Man, Shooty is like nails on a chalkboard to me now. You're going to be someone else. It doesn't matter who. Because every single one of you is fantastic. Yeah, not really. Uh, only the first, only up to Capaldi. Yeah, he kind of went went downhill after that. Did we just see the beginning of a new life form? Once again, the magic of science prevails. Medical science, and they cut to Jody. Really? <laughs> Who are you trying to kid? What's the mission? I explore. You are the maddest, most beautiful thing I've ever experienced. <laughs> And I haven't even scratched the surface. She was so bad as a doctor. Communication is a matter of patience, imagination. <laughs> These are qualities that we have in sufficient measure. You changed me. 
you have made my life bigger and better. This has become my home, and you have become my family. I mean, this matchup does go quite nicely together. I have to, I do have to say. Lower decks, friendship. <laughs> Right, so we had that panel. Let's see. It's bleeding. Let me see who's talking about it yet. Uh, do we get a report from Bleeding Call? Yeah, we do. No, not over there. Not there. Starfleet Academy. Okay, fine. It, 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 how? How is this even happening? It's beyond me, right? So this is one of the things that was announced. Yeah, was this on YouTube? Not available in my country. Mm. Okay. Five. Uh, uh, here we go. So, yeah, there was Doctor Who and Star Trek. Uh, uh, um, here, one second. Where is it? Star Trek. Five. That, that's the tag I've been looking for. Here we go. Uh, so wait. stop that. I go over here. Share screen. So the, yeah, they had a big Doctor. Who, we saw the big Doctor Who um, uh, Star Trek panel. Uh, <laughs> what's this? The, and Alex Kurtzman and Rossi Davis have bromances. <laughs> really. <laughs> Geek robots on display. I, I, I just, but how are you both so shit at making Doctor Who and Star Trek then? Like, I, I don't get it. I, I don't get how are you like these geeky people and you're like so devoid of any you know, idea of how to make Star Trek or Doctor Who. Uh, during Doctor Who X Star Trek panel, Rusty Davis and Robert Kurtzman put their uh, geek romance uh, on display to bring the fandoms together. Well, you need to bring it together now because you like chased away most of the people from both those fandoms. I guess you need to look them to if, if you amalgamate them, you might be able to get some back some of the viewers. Uh, it's it's the uh, genre version of the great replacement theory. Uh, science fiction geekdom converge on Saturday at intergalactic friendship panel Star Trek X Doctor Who, where Alex Kurtzman and Rusty Davis. Met up uh, in a showrunner bromance where the executive producers confessed their love for each other's series, and there was also a friendship is universal e uh, exhibition gallery experience in the gaslight quarter featuring costumes, props from both uh, uh, props and sets from both shows. Oh, that sounds interesting. I wonder what sets they had. That'd be cool. Uh, this is the closest thing you'll get to a live action Doctor Who and Star Trek crossover you'll get unless uh, they've announced something, uh, something at the panel. Well, they did sort of, but that's not not we're about. Yeah, everything announced was lame. Then who gives a shit? Uh, at least uh, not for now. More on that later. Uh, so we had that teaser opening. We just launched that at the panel. Kurtzman professed uh, affection for each. Uh, Kurtzman and David uh, confessed their affection for each other's beloved series. Yeah, I mean, I love Doctor Who and Star Trek. Man, they are uh, um, you know just intrinsically uh, you know. Uh, seared onto my geeky soul. Right? I love both of them. Uh, and uh, affection for each other's versions of the beloved series. Sorry. <laughs> each of your versions of the beloved, beloved series is shit. Because of that shooting out was emotional, heart and sleep doctor is the one he related to most. You lying, 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 Hollywood cunt. You lying, 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 Hollywood cunt. Uh, Davis repeated his love for Star Trek Discovery. Oh, I bet you do, you fuck with that, fuck with. Uh, saying that it's his favorite show with a serious celebrate, uh, celebration of friendship. How How is this series a celebration of friend? It's a ce celebration of narcissism, right? Um, right? It's, a, uh, uh, it's, it's certainly not a... Uh, a, a, a well, how is that a celebration? I, I they out their minds. I mean, like, that's just kind of short circuit to me. Please. Uh, the theme of the panel and his uh, favorite captain was Michelle Burnham. Blah! Again, Russell, you need just to get out the fucking way, okay? You need to get out the fucking way. You, you, if, if this is your creative instinct, 
explains why everything has been a massive fucking failure. Uh, her favorite captain was the narcissist in chief. Oh my god, Michael Burnham. Uh, and I also love Ray, of course, as well. He said the panel was a celebration of the positive parts of fandom. What do you mean, the teeny tiny little uh, uh, rainbow colored queer weirdos, right? And you're not weirdos if you're gay, but this queer thing is weird, right? Uh, uh, that tiny bit of fandom you have left, yes. You mean that, yeah, the, the positive bit of fandom. Fuck you. Uh, uh, who who then turned them turned around and become the biggest gatekeepers in the whole world? And they were, well, you can just leave them. Goodbye. <laughs> house now uh positive of the positive parts of fandom that kept both series alive for decades with a condemnation of toxic hate from the darker would-be gatekeepers and fandom fuck you i'm sorry you get criticized for doing woke shit fuck you oh man how about this how about not doing woke shit and then we won't say oh that's woke shit do you ever think about that uh, uh, sage-like plan? No. No. Oh. I mean, literally, you've destroyed both fandoms. You fuckwits. Oh, my God. And the thing is, it didn't, you didn't have to. Like, Terry Metalis, you know, he could have been your boy, Kurtzman. He could have cloaked you in glory. But no, you would have been like a fan favorite if you just let him run things. Oh. Oh, uh, it just is. He's a fuck. Um, well, he lost fan, and Davis uh, said he doesn't listen to online complaints. He just listens to his own instincts. Don't do that anymore. They're all wrong. Every instinct you have is a bad one, Russell. That's why, you know, all that smug is just got wiped off your face. We share uh, values and perspectives on the world. Yeah, we, we, we're both woke as fuck, I understand. We want to tell stories that are illuminating uh, on the human race. Yeah, we're both woke as fuck. I understand it, says Kurt Kurtzman. Uh, the friendship between the Doctor and Ruby in the last season has something different. No, it didn't. Uh, it speaks to, it to a new generation in a new way. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. And if it did, it would have done. It, yeah, if it did, it would have had some kind of traction. It would have had some kind of uh, uh, impact. But it didn't, right? It didn't. Uh, where are we up to? Uh, Cousin said when he saw Star Wars as a child, he realized the world was the world of the future was built by people who watched Star Trek. Davis talked about watching virtually every episode of Doctor Who live on on television since he was three years old. Well, that's normal. Uh, and the old episodes are now lost due to the BBC wiping the tapes, uh, per, uh, are permanently imprinted in his mind. As for the difference between the shows, Davis said. The Doctor would never join the military. Have you ever seen uh, uh, the, the war machines? And the military would never put up with uh, that idiot. Wait, wait, did did you not? Did you miss what? Did you miss the the the, the poetry years where he joined up with the military and they did put up with that idiot? What? What? Ah, uh, was just earlier. David said the Next Generation episode yesterday of Enterprise had a deep influence on him. That was a great episode. Oh, I love that episode. Uh, uh, his first memorable impact as a fan. Uh, of course, both writers were asked what they would like to do, given the chance to contribute to the other show. David said, Borg, Borg, Borg. I love the Borg. Well, you know, again, like every other one of uh, Russell Yeager's ideas, tired and out of date and done to death. Um... Of course, he loves the Borg Queen, Kurtzman. Uh, Kurtzman, is there any? Is there room for more Borg? It's a world travel story. Yes, it is. Davis Hatley said, "There's always a way." Daleks keeps coming back. Nobody mentioned that the Cybermen were pretty much the Borg. Uh, well, we all did actually, uh, and were there before they were created on Star Trek in the eighties. Now, it, literally, everybody mentioned that. There's no, there's no one who's a fan of both franchises who didn't mention that, right? Literally every single person has ever mentioned that, right? Uh, like, what are you talking about, mate? No, have you ever noticed that Cybermen and, and the Borg are similar? Yes, actually, yes. I know. Like, for, when the Borg first appeared, we went, oh, look, it's a Star Trek doing Cybermen. Literally everybody always mentioned that right from their first appearance. 
You fuckwit. Really? Curseman Praise Davis. Uh, you bring a gravitas to your writers where well, you used to. And you have a humanistic global vision of the world. Really? You, you mean you hate God? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, when asked uh, what he would write if he got the chance to write an episode of Who, Kurtzman said there were too many things he would love to write. He does. He, he's never watched it. He has no idea what you're talking about. Oh gosh, it, it's as sincere as Kamala Harris on a call to Obama. Holy crap, man, that was so cringe. Right, <laughs> that was just so cringe. Um, what are we up to? The Bogles ruined by Voyager. I tend to agree with you. Yeah, they very much over overuse them. Yeah, I do tend to agree with you there. Um, that's Peter Rich, I think. Where are we up to? Um, it's intimidating, he said. There's always a twist at the end, right? No. No, that's just that's a new thing. It's uh, There's no twist at the end. Uh, would Russell Davis uh, hire me to write an episode to which they respond? We couldn't afford you. And also, you know, we only get, you know, super gay people, I think. Uh, well, a seed has been planted on both sides of the curtain. Uh, I'm a great believer in using the fans. Oh, believe me, we know that. You've used us to death, mate. Uh, they know the language. They know the franchise, said Davis. Kurtzman said, yeah, no, I can't fucking stand the fans. They're the worst ever. Track cannon police in the room at all time. But we need a more human humanistic element uh, to look at the, what the writers are uh for a deeply, well, so I look for writers that are deeply human in their writing. Do you, by that you mean they're not white? I think that's what you mean. Okay, so now we get over to the crossovers. Uh, as for whether there would ever be a live action crossover, Star Trek and Doctor Who, David said, we're not announcing anything, but uh, if fans can make it happen with our two empires uh, and their lawyers, then we'll do it. Okay, this is just to like. Everything is about saving face after the disaster of uh, the new the new era, right? Everything is about trying to create a, an, an appearance of things are going well when they're really not going well at all. The final ten minutes of the panel will give us a question from the audience, and one fan asked if uh, if uh, asked after the, if the bigger on the inside ship from the Enterprise over the future tense is a TARDIS. David said, "Let's make that cannon now. It's a TARDIS." Oh, fuck off. Uh, 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 as for uh, as far as uh, as far as he was concerned, any shit that's bigger on the inside is a TARDIS. So this is the okay, the crossover, right? The only Star Trek talking crossover now, so there may not be uh, be a TV or movie crossover in Star Trek not to anytime soon. But the panel announced a crossover coming, a mobile game. Please calm down. Cartoon version of the Tenth Doctor, River Song. Uh, and the Daleks will meet the crew of the USS Cerritos, uh, that's from Lower Decks, uh, in a new story in a, a new story in mobile games, uh, Doctor Who Lost in Time, and Do uh, uh, Star Trek uh, Lower Decks. Uh, hey, at least it's free, unless you're so hooked you pay for the microtransactions. We are sorry. Yeah, this is just so dull, right? At the end of the panel, the reiterated parents are bought for the uh, Boys and Girls Club of America. Okay, that sounds very really suspect. Uh, what to tell you? I know, I do not know what to tell you. It all, all sounds very really suspect. Here, so how? I think I got some vi video of this. Uh, was it? Um, oh yeah, here, here we have a the trailer for this game. I just love the way this thing is so far away from the current era. Oh man, it's uh... right. It looks like it looks like absolute absolute twaddle, uh, as you would expect, right? I, uh... Uh, do we have another one as we're doing all the all things Star Trek? Um, lower decks, Friendship Universe. I think we probably already did that. Yeah, it's probably the same thing. There's a lot of things you need. Yeah, yeah, we've seen this one already. Fine. Don't remove that. Uh, oh, yeah, Lower Decks. I, them doing a fifth season. 
Go figure. Nothing makes sense. For the last five years. Oh, yeah, this is finally, again, this is like everything in Comic-Con. They're, they're trying to pretend that they've been successful, right? So this is the final season, and it's like, oh, for a fantastic success. No, you're there for, by contractual obligation only. Nobody watched this shit. Nobody cared about it. It, it was shit. For the last five years, they have thrilled us with their adventures, amazed us with their discoveries. Oh, God. The main character in this is the worst human being ever. And inspired us with their courage. So ethical. Their ship has journeyed beyond imagination. Her name has become legend. Her crew, the finest ever assembled. No one ever spoke about this show. Nobody cares. Don't you give me that sarcastic fucking salute. We have traveled with them from one corner of the galaxy to the other. Lipsy. They have been our guides, our protectors, and our friends. Lower decks, lower decks, lower decks, lower decks. Now you are invited to join them for one last adventure. Uh, oh, is he talking about us? Yeah, yeah, we're like uh, very important. All and right. this is our last mission. Yeah, right, we're not done voyaging. We aren't? No, no way, man. We've hardly even cracked one quadrant yet. Come on, Loims! Mariner, Mariner! Ah! I can't stand Mariner. I like, what a terrible character. How bad, party people, what's the bish? Man, another quantum fissure? Just like the third one this month. Boo, interdimensional portal. What up, Cerritos? This is Captain Becky Freeman. Make that one. We're going on a little oh. undercover mission. Last. Ah! Most scarce society throwing out all their jewels. Hey, who watches this? I, I don't I like, no, certainly nobody likes Star Trek. Jewels and crap. What a party. Everything. Ah! Oh yeah, that's the stuff. This isn't the end of a story, it's the beginning. No, it's the end, it's the end. Star Trek, Lower Decks. You fraternize with Starfleet humans? Fuck! Wow, was that your girlfriend? Blue, what crawled up her boob window and died? Anyway, what are we drinking? Ah! First uh -huh. test. The right of unending pain. Oh, oh unending pain. <gasps> Ah, this is gonna be Klingon as hell. Uh, uh, oh, 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 that's really painful, right? That is really painful. I think I'm more uninterested in the, in the uh, the Tilly series. Like, why? Why would like like why? Yeah, let, let let's read the, that story because that blows my bloody mind. How the, how the, like how they are putting money into this beyond me. So Alex Kurtz and, and Nuga Landau, Star Trek, uh, Starfleet Academy, a tired idea in the 90s, right? Uh, Tig Notaro, Odefra, Mary Wiseman, Robert Picardo. Blimey, Robert Picardo, I guess he's got to earn a living, you know. Um, so when we learned that Star Trek Universal was set uh, to have a major presence in San Diego Comic Con, we expected... Uh, expectations are high. We will get some deeper intel on things going, uh, on how things are going. Paramount Plus is uh, at its uh, Starfleet Academy. We know, we know. Set in the the Discovery timeline. Oh, he was alone. Why? Why is it just going to be like Tilly showing you how you can cook things with a replicator? Um, Amazon now they've got an overview of what to focus uh, of what the focus of the series will be. Uh, Kurtzman shared more specifics on the creative mindset of the project, and then the casting, which will which continues to impress with each announcement. The casting is very good. I mean, again, that's the tragedy of this. Uh, we uh, when we last checked, his streaming series starred Holly Hunter as Captain and Chancellor. Uh, again, solid talent. Paul Giamatti, solid talent as the season's villain. Ooh, I like to see him as a villain. Keris Books, my old ass. I've never heard of her. And Bella Shepard, Georgia Hawkins. Ker okay, never heard any of these people. Zoe Seitner. Yeah, these are all the kids in the academy, right? 
Uh, and the cast, uh, along with the uh, re uh, with the reaction video above, it was announced that the familiar faces would be joining up with uh, joining the incoming series. Tig Notaro. It was actually one of the best things about Star Trek Discovery, but it was a very low bar. Uh, 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 Odo Fair, who was in Discovery. Mary Wiseman. Fuck me. How? Uh, Robert Picardo. I, I think Robert Picardo is the most interesting casting they got going on there. Uh, Latara and Picardo join, uh, uh, join us regulars and rise their roles as Jet Reno and the Doctor. Meanwhile, Fed and Wiseman are set uh, as guests with a reprising role with... Uh, oh, she's not in every episode? Oh, okay. Fine. That makes it, just made it get better that she's not in every episode. Because she is like nails on a fucking chalkboard, that girl. She, she's... Who's worse? Tilly or, or uh, Shooty Gut was Doctor? I don't know. I know Robert Picardo gives it a real bit of class. I hate to tell you, it does. Please state the nature of the, uh, nature of the med medical emergency. Everything is failing. Well, that's true. Produced by CBS Studios, the production current is underway. Uh, the streaming series introduces viewers to a young group of uh, cadets who come together to pursue a common dream and a hope and optimism. Uh, out of their watch, what we're doing, guys, and their instructions, they discover uh, what uh, what it takes to become a Starfleet officer and navigate the blossoming friendships, explosive rivalries, and first loves. And okay, so it's a teen drama. Oh, uh, another teen drama. I guess they're on they're on uh, uh, stronger ground with that. Fine. My name's Vila Beck in the Rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!